As you walk amongst trees, it might seem to you at first glance that they all look alike. But look more closely and look for the right things and you will realize that not only is it possible to tell trees apart, but it is also a most joyful and mindful activity. In this episode of Tree Talk, I'm going to help you get started with tree spotting by showing you how focusing on a key feature can help you get started with identifying trees. One of the key features of a tree are its leaves. So no surprise therefore that they hold the key to unlocking the secrets behind the tree. So we look at the leaves but what is it exactly that we should be looking for? Let's dive in. The first thing you look for is leaf shape. Is it oblong or oval? Shaped like a palm or like a needle? Perhaps it is long and linear or broad and heart shaped? Or is it shaped like the hoof of a camel? Look at leaf shapes closely. Next, notice the leaf margin, that is the edge of the leaf. Is it straight or wavy, lobed or toothed? Leaf margins are also a key thing to look out for when you wish to identify a tree. Once you've noticed the margins, next look at them more closely. If the margin is toothed, are the edges saw-like, like this neem? Or is it finely toothed, like this charcoal tree? Is it sharply cut like the papaya leaf or gently lobed like this mulberry? Honestly, there is a long list of precise words to describe each leaf shape and different types of leaf margins, but we'll keep it simple for now and get to those finer details in another episode. A key feature to look out for is leaf arrangement. Look out for how the leaves are arranged on the branches. Are they opposite each other or alternately arranged? Are they whirled, that is, arranged all around the branch on all sides, like in this chiku tree? Now this opens out a whole new chapter about simple and compound leaves, but we'll get to that later. Just remember that often when one is confused on the field, leaf arrangement is very helpful in identifying the tree. Next, notice the leaf texture. Is it thin and papery like the people, or thick and glossy like the banyan, downy and soft like this gunpowder tree, or coarse to touch like the teak? Is it shiny or dull, rubbery or smooth? These factors matter too. Also note the base of the leaf. Is it even and symmetrical or is it uneven? What about the leaf tip? Is it pointy or blunt? Noting leaf base and tips will also help identify trees more easily. Another feature you can note is the midrib and the veins of the leaf. Is the midrib prominent? Are the secondary veins clear? Like in this kadam leaf on the right? Or are they faint like in this mast tree leaf on the left? Are the veins parallel? Do they meet along the leaf edge? These are other things to notice. And then you have a whole bunch of leaves that appear in a set. Either a set of three, like in this palash, or a set of seven, or a more complex set of multiples, like the leaves of this rain tree. These are what we call compound leaves, and we'll be talking about those in part two of this episode. While this might seem like an overwhelming amount of things to make note of, believe me, it's not as hard as it first appears. Just like you know so many people, but don't get confused between them because you recognize them apart by their faces, their features, like their hair, their hairstyles. Is their hair curly or straight, long or short? The color of their eyes, is it black or brown, gray or blue? Their features, their beards, their noses, their skin, their smiles, the way they dress, the way they talk and so on, until someone becomes so familiar that you can identify them with just their voice or their silhouette. You will slowly find that happening with trees too. And don't worry, it only gets easier because there are a whole bunch of other clues that trees give you, like dazzling flowers or bright fruits or spiny thorns and several others as well. So, what next, you may ask? What after learning all these things about the leaf? Is it a magic wand that will help you instantly identify the tree and learn all about it? No, but it is the first step. Just like you can't read Shakespeare without knowing ABC or learn the literature of any language without knowing the alphabet of that language, learning more about the leaf is a baby step towards learning more about the tree. All you need is the intent to get started along with some regular practice. And hey, that's not so hard to do. Look out of the window from home, classroom or office or look up as you walk down the street or stop and observe for a few moments through the bus, train or car as you travel to work. Trees are all around us. 
And these days, mindfulness is the new buzzword. Everyone is talking about being more mindful and attentive and conscious and alert. Tree spotting, may I dare say, is the best way to get more mindful. And these tips will surely help you get started. In the next episode, we'll delve a little deeper into this aspect of identifying trees through their leaves. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this episode and learned a little more about the trees around you, do share it with others who will like it and subscribe to stay posted.